Okay. <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh god. Whatever is this, what is this THC on you? Yeah, it's my oils. I rub them into my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> What's up guys, GT Game here and welcome back to OCRP and this is essentially part two of our little series on um, everything in the RP store. So next episode is Fake ID, this episode THC Oil. I'm going to go for five. I'm going to have five of them. Stop. I'm going to end up shooting shit. It won't be good. Nearest postal 18. Where am I? Oh, apparently that's where it spawns all these places. Oh well. Um, yeah, I tried to think of something outside the box I can do with this, but honestly... I mean, I thought of something unusual, but it's it's gonna have to be related to selling it, or passing it on, or possession, or something simple like that. So I am gonna do something a little bit different. What I'm gonna do is go down Grove Street, and uh, see if anyone wants to buy it. I doubt we'll get any bidders, but you never know. So I'm going to try and sell it down Grove Street because <laughs> it occurred to me as I was thinking of a good setting for this. Grove Street is the main gang area, and nobody sells anything. Nobody does anything down there. Well, they do, but it's not as popular as I would have thought it would be. So I thought. Yeah, I'm going to go down Grove Street, because I haven't done a scenario there in a long time. Uh, I still haven't got a car. We're playing again as uh, Charlie Staines, Seaman Staines. Uh, that's such a bad name. But yeah, so far we did, last episode we was doing crack pipe, we had a crack pipe on us. And that landed us with a hundred dollar fine, citation, whatever you want to call it. I mean, that's not that bad, let's be honest. So, THC oil, honestly, I don't know what law that is. Probably the same law. However, when Alex gave us that citation, he told us he's given us a massive break. So, yeah, it's kind of swings and roundabouts. I reckon this one we'll end up going down for, though. I think that's the only thing in our inventory other than our gun. THC, yeah, and tacos and water. But police won't confiscate them. So yeah, that is my plan. Ring a fire chili house. You know, that's one thing I love about GTA. The attention to detail and the random stuff. And the frame drops, apparently. Like, if you actually stand there and read the billboards, some of them are so fucking stupid. Uh, anything dumb on that one? Red Rose Special. Bee holes a dollar each. Yep. That's good. Pick your ring over there, you know, as you do. <laughs> but either way, I'm going to go down Grove Street and I'm going to try and sell this THC oil, but I know that's going to be a tricky one. And then what I'm thinking is if and when that doesn't work, maybe, oh, do you know what would be cool? If I gave a, like, an anonymous tip to the cops, no description or anything, and then just see if they pick me out of the crowd so to speak just say something like there's a someone selling drugs on Grove Street no description no nothing just an anonymous tip <laughs> and see if they pick me out I guarantee they will in fact that could be a fun little social experiment while I'm here let's just see if they got any cheap cars because I do kind of need a car um, these are all the expensive ones that's the cheapest one I've seen so far, a Warrener. That's four grand. Ooh, two and a half for an ingot. Can I afford that? Nope. I can't even afford an ingot. Ah, uh, come on. Give me something for like a grand. Nope. Ah, well. But, uh, god damn it. Right, so I'm going to send out a tweet. Any of you homies want to buy some natural oil? Hit me up on 11738. Uh, and, uh... Let's see if we get anything. I'm going to do a moat lean. Yeah, it's worth trying to sell anything, but I doubt it'll come to anything. I've only got five on me, so it'll be a small time deal. 
Um, but my main thing, honestly, I'm interested in that. And now I've come up with the idea. I think if I did call the cops with an anonymous tip, with no information, whether they would just automatically pin it to me, I don't know, I reckon they might. But then equally, just before this, I was <laughs> walking around with a crack pipe looking for money for crack, so... Putting two to, and two together and equaling four, it's not that hard, to be honest. If any of those cops come down here, then it could be a different story. But as for law-wise, le legality, I don't know. I genuinely, I probably should look into the things like this before I try them. But it's more fun to just find out. Uh, it means I have less of an argument at most if they do arrest me. So yeah, I'm just going to chill here. I'm going to give it, uh, I'd say, about five minutes to see if we get any hits. And if not, I'm going to call in an anonymous report as... Uh, snitches around here, I guess stitches. So, I don't know, one of these people in the house is here. I'm just going to call it in as like a white top. <laughs> white top with dark trousers. That's pretty vague. I'll do that. Okay guys, I've been here for a good 5-10 minutes now and as I suspected, I'll be honest, no one's hit me up for my uh, natural remedies, let's put it. I mean, this is one of those things. THC oil is medicinal in a way. In the same way that weed is, but it's still technically illegal. So, mm, as for what the cops will think, I don't know. But either way, I'm going to print an anonymous tip now. And I'll dub the audio over so you can hear it, but... <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I think they'll pick up on me. I reckon they'll uh, come and talk to me, even though there's multiple other people around. And I'm going to try and argue my innocence. It's a pretty simple scenario. Um, the next on our list of items to RP is a fake ID, I believe. Yes, it is. And um, I'm going to do stuff with that. I did show in the last episode all the items in the RP. Preferably, if you have an idea you'd like to see and want to leave in my Discord, do it for an item near the end of the list, because I do pre-record. So I'm probably going to get through at least five, four or five episodes, hopefully, tonight. So if you leave a suggestion for, like, fake ID, I've probably already recorded it. If it's really good, I'll go back and re-record it or something. Uh, leaving the cars abandoned. Yeah, no, no one's tweeted or anything. But yeah, that would be preferable to take into account that there is time between me recording, editing, and uploading. Right, I am now going to hop in the dispatch channel and call in an anonymous report. San Andreas 91, operator 532, what's the location of your emergency? Yeah, I want to put in an anonymous report. I'm down here on Grove Street, I live on Grove Street. And there's some dude acting real shady, I think he's trying to sell drugs or something to, like, people in the street. Okay, what does this person look like? Uh, it's hard to make out, he's down the street now, it's a white top with like dark trousers on, that's all I can really see. Is and it he... a white male or a black male? I can't tell, he's got a hood up. Okay, so he's got a white hoodie on? No, it's a black hoodie, sorry, and a, like a white top. That's not... That's, uh, I want to be more vague. And you don't recognize him? Nah, I don't know who he is, but he's acting real shady. Okay, do you know what part of the street he's on right now? Nah, he's, he's just walking up and then Grove Street. He's pretty shady, man. I, I gotta go, my husband's coming in. Alright, thank you. Right, 911 report. I gave too much information, so... I'm going to go back here. I want I want to make these cops work for it. I don't want to give it to them on a plate, even though I tend to. <laughs> I'm just not good with confrontation. I'm not, I'm too friendly. It's like, I don't want to lie to you. Oh, that's, that's sick. That's cool attention to detail right there. The bike tracks on the dirt. I used to do that when I was a kid. Get on my BMX, go riding up and down paths. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to chill here so I can see around the corner. Right, let's just lean against this wall here. 
No, not R. Oh, I can't type today. That didn't even do anything. Emote lean. Go. Uh, okay. Someone's in the area. Someone else is in the area. Repacks. What did I say? Repacks bong with keef dust. Uh, can I use cannabis oil? Uh, no, I cannot. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna go down by the street down here just so I can see what's going on. Oh, that was a cop. That was LSPD. I'm just gonna relax by here. I'm gonna smoke a cigarette. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's gonna notice me this time around. He didn't see me the first time, but you know what these cops are like. I think he'll seem suspicious if I walk off. Ah, uh, here he is. Okay. <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh, God. What the shit, dude? <laughs> Grove Street. <laughs> oh, shit, man. He's going to get questioned about the weed now. <laughs> oh man, I want to see this. I really want to see that. But nah, I'm going to stay here and finish my cigarette. <laughs> George's Limousine Service. Sounds luxurious. I think that dude stole my cop. <laughs> Let's go for a walk. Yep, there he is. <laughs> Okay, what I'm gonna do is suspicious if I come out the alleyway like that. I'm just gonna casually walk around. Oh, there's another cop over there. He's got another moped. <laughs> what the fuck? What is this today? Like, seriously? <laughs> Unless that's the moped that was on the path. That's not good. Which means this cop here. Okay, these multiple, multiple cops. Let's just smoke a cigarette right here. Emote, smoke. Yeah, that's what I want to do. They're frisking him! <laughs> oh, this is amazing. We got three LSPD. One over there with a moped, and two by here with this moped. <laughs> he doesn't even look like the description at all. That's what I should have done. Instead of give a more accurate description, I shouldn't have mentioned my hood, because that made me give up the information about the jacket. I should have said the wrong colour. That would have been the smart thing to do. <laughs> oh, man. They're probably going to be like, so we got a call about you selling drugs, and he's like, what? <laughs> I ain't selling drugs. I'm going to drop my cigarette, and I'm going to be slightly ballsy. I'm going to go in this shop here. What do I want to buy? I kind of want... Um, blocks, which totally isn't Clorox bleach. What I really want to do is hear what they're saying. Why can I not hear them? Um, put my voice on shout. No. Oh. Ah, 
just so I can hear them, they move him. Oh, What's shit. going on? Hey, how's it going, officer? Alright, um, do you mind just, uh, stop stepping outside with me real quick? Uh, I was gonna buy a pineapple, but sure. I forgot to do my voice. Yeah, just real quick. I'm gonna just chat with you real quick. I love it. I was gonna buy a pineapple. <laughs> What'd that dude do, man? Um. Alright, so here's the deal. Um. Um. Uh, the reason why I'm making contact with you is because, um, essentially, uh, we got a call earlier, um, and, uh, call said that a gentleman matching your description, um, was out, uh, and, uh, was possible drug activity in the area, so, why I'm out making contact with you, so. No, oh, man, that, that wasn't me. What description did they give? Somebody matching your description, somebody with a black man with a black hoodie that's what you have hey man that's racist half the people around here are black <laughs> yeah, it's there's got a, nothing to do with race yeah you said black male with black hoodie that's pretty vague man especially around these ends nope not really so um anyway you mind if I just pat you down real quick I mean yeah I do kind of mind because that's like That's the most vague description ever, dude. It's 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 not vague, and if you don't have anything to hide, I don't really understand what the issue is with me giving you a quick path down since it matches the description of the person we were looking for. It's infringing my personal space, bro. I'm just trying to buy a okay, pineapple. Well, you get me? I, okay, right. So, all I'm saying is, once I can determine that you're not the person that we're looking for. Then you're free to. Then you'll be free to go. But right now, I'm making contact with you because you match a description of somebody who we're looking for. A black male with a black hoodie. Yeah. Yeah, in this area, not in the whole city of Los Santos, and on Grove Street. That's what we were looking for. I mean, shit, man. That's pretty vague, but I suppose. Since you've been, since you got such a nice mustache, what I'm trying to say, I guess I'd let you touch me. <laughs> All right, why don't you just spin around for me real quick? I should probably let you know I got my gun on me and my natural luck, okay, do you my remedies for my glaucoma. Do you have a, okay, do you have uh, um, a permit for that weapon? Yeah, man. Uh, you know what you could. I gotta run. It's, it's legal. You man. what? I gotta go catch up with the guy that got transported to see us. If you're good here. Okay. Oh right, yeah, no. Yeah. Go ahead. I, thought, I answered. The cop was asking Tom if his eyes look. But uh, checks his eyes over there. I thought he meant me, though. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna take the pistol from you real quick. Um, once I can determine. Everything's all set. I'm gonna give it back to you. Oh, okay. Hey, that, that's my glycoma medicine, yeah? Yeah, I know. I understand. It's f for my, my glycoma. I don't even know okay. what glycoma is, I'll be honest. Glycoma? You mean glaucoma? Yeah, man. It's my accent. <laughs> Alright. Well, yeah, you can spin around if you need me. Hey, you didn't arrest me. Alright, let's w take a walk over to my car. I mean... You just... Okay. Go ahead and sit, uh, just hang out on the front bumper real quick. Okay, man. Alright, so, so what's your name? Uh, my name's Charlie, man. My friends call me C. Okay, tr okay Charlie, what's your last name? Manstains. It's C. Manstains, yeah. <laughs> okay, hold on one second. I mean, to be fair, I am innocent, other than the THC oil, and he didn't seem to care about that. But then, I did, I'll admit, Google THC oil, drugs and all that, not something I'm really into. It is actually used for medicine, and glycoma, I think, is something with your eyes, and I think you all use right, THC for that. Um, 
Do you have a um, a, a license for that? Um, your uh, marijuana derivative. Uh, miss up my house somewhere, man. It's okay, for my black on man. you. It's okay, I know you. You told me that, but you, if you if you use mar marijuana or mar marijuana derivatives for for medicinal purposes, you need to have a card on you, and you don't have your card on you. And I can uh, by check. I just checked. I just ran your name, and you already have. Uh, you were issued a citation. I think earlier, it was either yesterday or it was maybe it was in I think it was today actually. Um, actually, it could have been yesterday, but very recently you were issued a citation for um, possession of drug paraphernalia. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest with you, man. I was up in, uh, I was visiting friends up in Stab City, up in the county, and mm -hmm. one of my friends gave me this decorative thing. He was like, hey, man, this would be nice for your oriental collection. And a cop stopped me, and basically that thing he gave me was a crack pipe. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be honest, man. I don't really do shit like that. But I took the citation. The cop was like, "Yeah, he could take me down for it," but because I didn't know what it was, he was pretty safe. I'll be honest. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Well, I'm just, I'm just letting you know you can't. You really aren't supposed to have whatever is what is this THC on you. Yeah, it's my oils. I rub them into my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Don't do that, kids. You're not, not supposed to have that on you without your, your marijuana card, so... Um... So, I could, I mean, I could cite you for it, or, you know... Yes, no. I, I mean, basically, is I could cite you for it, or I could just confiscate it. So, um... Because you were cooperative uh, with me about, you know... Me making contact with you and stuff. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna write you up, but, but I, I am gonna take this from you because you're not supposed to have it without your card, okay? Okay, shit, man. I mean, that's that's a pretty good deal. I can't be asked with the court system and shit. Yeah. Okay, but I am gonna give you your um, your firearm back, right? Because that you. Um, yeah, man. I'm sure yeah, that's. You do have a, a yeah. permit for. I'm sure that's much safer than, than drugs. <laughs> So there's your pistol back. Um, all right. Um, at this point, you're free to go. All right. So. Um, okay, homie. I appreciate uh, the break. Uh, you're yeah. good to go. Yeah. Not a problem. All right, man. We'll take care. All right. Yeah. You too, man. Have a good one, bro. All right. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna go inside and buy my pineapple. That was a pretty short one. Props to Noah. That all was a pretty right. good way of handling now that. You missed this one. All right. So um, he's... I'm letting him go. He's had a little bit of THC on him. Um, he said it's for medicinal purposes. I advised him that, that um, it's, it wasn't Wait, anything yeah. like trafficking or anything. Um, Wait, yeah. so, uh, he had THC, marijuana derivative, um, oh. on him, oh. so... Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. let's not pull that out. Yeah, so that's... Use? Yeah, personally, you stuff like five... Oh, well then. Like, I don't know, like... Yeah, so not... not I don't think he's our guy, so, um, anyway, somebody, so I, somebody called I cut in him. Baby for, uh, dealing when he was, was smoking normally? Yeah, he said it was, like he said, he said it was for medicinal purposes, so, um, I right. advised him that he needed to have his medical marijuana card in him, which he doesn't have, so I, I could either cite him for it or confiscate I'm proud of Noah. That was a good way of handling that. Right, that's two off my list of RP things to do. <laughs> anyway, guys, that was a bit of a pleasant interaction today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you come back for the next episode, and I will see you then. Peace out, guys.